Okay, in this video I'm going to see what I can do with this human head. Well, I'm assuming it has some type of purpose to scare the cannibals. Okay, as part of the group, let's see what they're going to do. Hide the bushes. Yeah, as you can see, they have their um, AI fulfilled certain needs, like drinking water. I'm going to try to get their attention. Okay, it's a breach and you see me already. I think it's sort of a, um, a threatening animation, like the cutthroat thing at the time. I'm not sure if that's a backing off animation or just a bad animation glitch or something. Okay, that, that's clearly a backing off animation. What's the range on this one? Yeah, it's actually pretty smart in terms of you have one guy that's, that got your attention, the other guys are just um, trying to flank you. No reaction. Okay, like it takes three or four meters to get to them. Or maybe you have to aim at them directly for it to work. I want to test if heads on spikes will deter enemies from attacking that direction. So, select this wide open area. And I'm going to... I got two skulls and one human head. I'm going to place them in this pattern. Okay, so I'm just going to put up a fire so I can warm myself. Ah, oh, nobody showed up yet. See if they're going to go around those sticks. This guy ran back off. Okay, they're doing a flanking maneuver like they usually do. I don't know if they actually avoid those sticks. Yeah, this guy is definitely running away from, from the head. I think the red guy. Yeah, I'm gonna collect heads from those guys and place them over here and see if somebody avoids them. I think the red guy, he, he was scared by it. And the other guys, I'm not sure, they, they appear to have done a flanking maneuver, which they would have done anyways, I'm not sure. And I just gotta acquire some heads from those guys. But is she dancing? Yeah, and they're doing these, uh, I'm gonna kill you, um, Animations with the cutthroat this thing. Okay, it's interesting. 
I think that's a fe Oh, what the Yeah, I should have... I should have expected that was stupid just to turn my back on the... I'm just gonna slap those guys around a bit, and then I'm going to... Oh yeah, they're gonna get the golf club now. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, this isn't working out. This guy ran past the head like it didn't mean anything. They might have been retreating because if they take casualties in a group, some of them tend to just disappear. Now we can get a new head. For some reason, if I, if I cut the heads off from, from the adult cannibals, usually uh, there's no head appearing. Oh. I actually like the part where you actually have to, like, you have to really line up your cut <laughs> to cut it off. Okay, so, got a new head. And I'm going to put this one in this direction. No, no, ah, come on. Okay, that's a big one. First I'm going to lure it on this side of the wall and see if it actually works on the other side. Okay, wait, wait, oh shit. That's a hero. Okay, now let's see if he wants to come through that wall. Oh, they are well armored. Never seen this guy before. Okay, this guy just walked straight through it. And I noticed that because I beat back the last attack, the those guys come back more armored, I think. And they completely ignore those heads. So my theory is that the more primitive um, cannibals tend to get more scared by the static heads. Okay, in this clip I just found a cannibal and I'm sneaking behind him. It's actually a good way to find a cannibal village if you don't know where it is. You basically follow roads and somewhat obvious sources of water, lakes. And I think cannibals usually patrol the roads, and if you find a cannibal, just follow him and you find the village. I think this is what makes this game so intriguing, because so many game systems are not explicitly um, shown to the player. You, you just have to like, like guess what, what something is doing or not doing. He's... ah. See if I can scare him away. So this type of AI is definitely waiting for you to, to look away from them before they attack. Doesn't seem too impressed by the battered head. If I can impress him with that thing. Okay, see, notice the eye. They seem like startled that I showed up in the village. It's not the usual. <laughs> 
Can you just like back him off behavior? Nah. Okay, it makes him back off a bit, which can buy a uh, buy tiny amount of time. Oh, if there's money, uh, several of them, they can just flank you and attack you like that. Again, I'm guessing. I think this seems like a tactical retreat they're doing. If you if you scare them during combat or confrontation, they climb the trees and taunt you from the trees, or sometimes the small ones throw rocks at you. Okay, that stopped the attack. Try a second one. Get closer. Get closer. Yeah, they're really good at flanking. Notice that they're always one of them is always circling you while the other guy get, gets your attention. Okay, so in this clip, I'm looking for the cannibal village. It should be somewhere. Just spotted this cannibal, and let's see if he's going to leave me somewhere. Uh, here's a theory I have that this guy got startled by me being in the presence here, and he seems like more than half evasive, running away behavior instead of actually trying to fight me. Which means, see, I might have some strategic, uh, strategic orders, uh, like looking for the player in, in attack parties or just patrolling on their own. If you startle them, they, they'd rather try to get away instead of fight you. And as I mentioned in the previous clip, I think that's one of the amazing things in this game that everything's so obscure and the AI behavior that you have to like puzzle together what's what's actually going on. This guy doesn't look like he's actually trying to flank me. He, he just bumped into me, not wanting to uh, have confrontation, just ran off. As I mentioned in the previous clip, I think, uh, if you need to look for villages or interesting places in the map, just follow roads, and they usually lead you to something interesting. I'm going to... I think the village is somewhere in this area, near that water over there. See if I can sneak up on them, see how they react to me. Okay, that's a cannibal village. Getting flanked. Nobody see me, I think. Let's see what I can do. You just observe them for a moment. We need to confront this one on the road. That he reacts to me. And back up, but the combat value of that thing, it doesn't seem like that practical because... Um, yeah, this guy is running away as far as he can right now. Which means it, it supports theory that if you startle them on their own and they're not looking for you and you, you bump into them, they really want to get away from you. 